Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today I'd like to show you how a pro wires a three-way switch lighting circuit in conduit. This is Greg Anlicker, the three-time national champion of the Ideal National Championship. He has to wire several circuits for this competition, but I am just going to concentrate on one of the circuits, and that will be the three-way switch lighting circuit and it's a 15 amp circuit. The blue arrows are pointing to where the three-way switches go and the purple arrow is pointing to where the light goes. Greg is just finishing up running his black and white wires to the 15 amp breaker and to the neutral bar. The white wire that he is going to be working with is coming directly from this panel. He'll quickly measure up and figure out how much white wire he's going to need, give himself plenty of extra, cut it, and then he's going to cut the black wire, which is the power wire. Now Greg is going to grab a black and a blue wire, which are going to be his traveler wires, going from three-way switch number one to three-way switch number two, and he's going to grab his continuous white wire, and he's going to run those three wires through the conduit from the first three-way switch box to the second three-way switch box. I'd like to pause the video for just a moment to explain what just happened. Now this is the first three-way switch box and Greg has a black power wire coming here from the panel, from the main panel and this is the white wire it is in a loop i see now this we call this a line wire that will hook up to the black terminal of the three-way switch and will give the lighting circuit power now this wire right here since this is a standard three-way switch this is not going to be used on the switch but it's necessary for a neutral to be in the box so he's going to pull out about this length in both of the three-way switches and he'll give it a little twist and put it into the back of the box and over here we have a black wire and a blue wire that he just put into this EMT and it goes to the other three-way switch box and these are traveler wires the black and the blue are going to be traveler wires the neutral is going to continue on unspliced and just put it in the back of the box but it's, he lengthens it so that it can actually be used if he would like to replace the standard three-way switch with a digital three-way switch that needs a neutral it'll be there and it will be there in sufficient length where it can be worked on easily so this is the power this is the neutral and these are the traveler wires now Greg will grab a yellow wire from his spool of yellow wire and with his white wire that is continuously run to the second three-way switch box he will run the yellow wire and the white wire up to the light the yellow wire is going to be the power wire for the light also notice that we have this white loop right here which will make it very easy to add a digital three-way switch or something like that later on and right here we have a blue wire and right here we have a black wire so th this once again is the power to the light and we call that a load wire because the light is the load and now he'll work on the first three-way switch box he's cutting the wires to proper lengths and stripping ends on them and making loops now Greg will attach bonding wires to each of the metal boxes. The EMT does serve as an equipment grounding conductor. So when he attaches the bonding wires to the installed devices, the installed devices will be grounded. Here in the second three-way switch box, you can see the bonding wire firmly attached to the metal box and it goes right here and then of course there's the yellow power wire and the blue and the black traveler wires and the white neutral wire which is in the form of a loop all of the metal device boxes will get 
bonding wires. Now Greg will go around and strip and loop any wires that still need it. Now Greg will install mud rings. This circular mud ring is a half inch mud ring and is made for light fixtures. Now he'll install the mud rings for the switches and receptacles. It will convert a 4x4 box into a single device box. Now Greg will twist his neutral loops a little bit and put both of them back into the back of the boxes. This is how Greg wired this first three-way switch. This is your line wire right here. This is the one that is coming from the main panel. It goes around like this, and it goes like this, and it goes right down here to the common terminal of the three-way switch. This energizes the three-way switch system. Here's your black and your blue wires this black wire goes back here and it goes right here to one of the traveler wire terminals that's the brass colored terminal on this side this blue wire goes to the other traveler wire terminal which is also brass colored and here's your bonding wire right here and it goes to the grounding terminal and just as a note we have the red wire and the white wire going through this box down to a receptacle circuit. Here's how Greg wired the second three-way switch. Now, first of all, this is the yellow wire, and that goes to the load. So we call it a load wire, and the load is the light in our case. So this goes to the black terminal. Remember, we ran the line wire to the black terminal on the first three-way switch. Well, this is the load wire. We like to use a yellow-colored wire when we are running conduit to a light or fan. And here's your blue and your black traveler wires, and they go to the brass colored terminals right here and right here. And here's your bonding wire, which goes to the ground terminal. Now he'll install the receptacles and switches in their respective boxes. Now to install the light fixture. Greg just tapped out the knockouts for a three and a quarter inch box mounting. The back of the socket looks like this. The white neutral wire will go to one of the silver terminals and the yellow hot wire will go to one of the brass colored terminals. There is no place for the green bonding wire so Greg is just going to have to put that in the back of the box. Here Greg is putting the green bonding wire into the back of the box and now he's going to strip ends on both the white and the yellow wires and put loops on them. Now he'll take the ceramic light socket and put the white wire on the silver terminal and the yellow wire on the brass colored terminal and I was going to tighten them down. And now he's going to screw in a couple 832 screws which is typical for a porcelain light like this and put them between the openings and gently screw it down. You don't want to go too hard on porcelain. So 
So now he's finished with the three-way switch wiring, and uh, this is the panel, and we have the neutral wire coming from the neutral bar of the panel, and it goes uncut through the first three-way switch, all the way along this EMT conduit, through the second three-way switch, and up to the light. The black wire from the 15 amp breaker goes to the first three-way switch, and then we had a black and a blue wire going through the EMT from the first three-way switch to the second three-way switch. Then we had the continuation of the white wire plus the yellow wire going to the light. The EMT conduit is the equipment grounding conductor and each of the metal boxes had its own bonding wire. Although it's an excellent idea to add a green ground wire to the conduit for our redundant means of grounding. In this competition, they were not given any green grounding wire. So that tested the competitor's knowledge that the EMT is the equipment grounding conductor. I'll put a link in my video description for my playlist on electrical wiring which has 125 videos now. And I'll put a link for my newest playlist, which is about the 2023 NEC codes. Thanks, I hope this video was helpful. Mm -hmm.